Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros. And today we got this epic, amazing streaming and gaming setup to bring to you. And guess what? It's sponsored by Corsair. They're wanting us to showcase, well, a bunch of Elgato products, but mainly the Elgato Wave 1, which is right there. An awesome microphone that has a lot of cool features about it, which we'll talk about later on today's video. But big thanks to Elgato slash uh, Corsair for sponsoring this setup, making it possible. We got the webcam, we got the key light, we got, well, we have Corsair headphones, we got, uh, yeah, a lot of Corsair stuff. How about we go ahead and just talk about how our streaming setups work? So if you guys are not new to the channel, you probably know that we do all kinds of gaming and streaming setups. We call them full setups because they include things like keyboard, mouse, webcam, dual monitors if it's a streaming setup, in this case even lights, which are kind of extra, headset, mouse mats, and the actual computer that you need to run all of that stuff. So basically, this is everything you could need to possibly start getting into gaming and streaming, or just IRL streaming. You are going to need a desk and a chair, of course, but we typically don't include those in our full setups because realistically, you can make it out of cardboard or something free that you found off the side of the street or Goodwill, whatever. We've done it many times. And of course, most of these setups feature a PC we've already done a full PC build video on, so hit the on the top corner to check this PC build out, which we'll talk more about here in a second. But yeah, let's just not waste any more time, talk a little bit more about the computer and then the rest of the parts that make up this streaming setup. So this PC right here was actually a relatively budget PC and it's featuring the brand new AMD RX 6600 XT, which we're really excited to use. It's the Phantom Gaming Edition and it does have the awesome three fan and it is a really big boy beefy card, but it is kind of a little bit on the lower end, more like a 3060 in terms of AMD performance. But we're excited to try it out in streaming because if we're being honest, we do not normally advocate AMD cards for streaming because we like InBank, but we feel like there's a chance they've came a long way and maybe AMD will be just as good at streaming and then we'll no longer have to say that. But under this big tower cooler, we have a Ryzen 5600X, which is a six core 12 thread processor. We just have 16 gigs of Team Group T-Force Delta RGB RAM, that's 3200 megahertz, uh, basic motherboard, uh, Corsair BS600 power supply. Well, actually, if you check out the video, you can see all the exact uh, description of the build because I don't remember half of this, if I'm being honest, but long story short, 6600, XT with a 5600X and 16 gigs of RAM with an NVMe SSD. So we know this is going to be good for gaming. We just don't know how good it's going to be for streaming and gaming. Now, first up with the monitors, we have two monitors from Pixio. First up, the main gaming display. This is the, let me read the model number, PX259P from Pixio. Now, this monitor is crazy. It's cray cray. It has 1080p, 280 hertz. 280 hertz, very overkill for a 6600 XT for being perfectly honest here. But if you really wanna have a monitor that you can grow into, upgrade the system with a better graphics card in the future, this is a really good option and it's pretty fairly priced. Now over here, we have definitely an overkill monitor for like Twitch chat and OBS. This is the Pixio PX24. 8PA, which is a 24 inch 1080p 144 hertz monitor. You really don't need 144 hertz for a secondary display, definitely overkill. But if you want the seamless ability of having a very smooth experience across both monitors, because I know personally having a uh, 165 hertz monitor at home and a 60 hertz, it's kind of weird going from that to this, like back and forth, really weird. So if you want a seamless transition experience, you have that with two high refresh rate displays. But Pixio makes some awesome monitors and we're really excited to use these. Um, now let's go ahead and look at the rest of the stuff here. Um, 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 we'll look at the keyboard. This is the Rocat Pyro, which is a full-size keyboard with red switches. Um, Rocat was nice enough to send some of this stuff over. It is a full-size keyboard, so you could use the numpad for things like, well, macros or anything like that to program within your streaming application. We are not using a stream deck in this setup, but you could most certainly get a stream deck if you wanted to, to control the lighting and all these other awesome Elgato products. But uh, yeah, awesome keyboard here. Um, we'll come back to this right here in a minute. This is the Rocat Cone Pro Wireless, and as you can tell we're not running in wireless mode at the moment. Uh, main reason being uh, the battery was dead and we really just wanted to have it plugged up and get ready to go. But it's an awesome wireless mouse that I think Jackson's gonna steal after this video and use. So if that tells you anything, if we're stealing products to use on our own setups, they're good products. Um, everything is sitting on top of this mouse mat, which I'll leave in the description down below. Um, just a generic mouse mat link because we use one that we well have clearly used. It is used, it's been used by me actually for a long time. Um, so yeah, you could buy whatever in the description down below leave some recommendations. Now let's talk about the main thing that Corsair is sponsoring. This is the Elgato Wave 1, which is an awesome microphone that has, well, built-in software for audio mixing
thing so you can control the volume of things like Spotify or different music software in the background and mix it within the, uh, well, program in OBS or whatever program you're actually using the live stream. And it's really good at producing good sound quality. That's what you want with the microphone. You want to be heard and sound really good. And this microphone does a great job of that. You'll hear the audio quality when we get to the actual streaming test. Um, but you know what? You gotta be seen when you're live streaming also. Now for the webcam, we have the good old Elgato face cam, which is an awesome camera that's gonna be great for our live streaming needs. No video setup is complete without proper lighting. And what we have right here are some beautiful key lights, which we have two of them. You really don't need two of them. I'll be perfectly honest with you. Two of them is definitely overkill, but if you want to have two of them, you can have some awesome lighting. It can be easily controlled with things like a stream deck or with software on your PC. Um, stream deck is the easiest way, but you know, what? I'm just going to crank this up real quick. It's how bright they get boys. They get bright. They just blinded Jackson. They just turned off. So um, we're going to go back to this. There we go, better. Um, and yeah, they're gonna be great for lighting our face with doing live streaming tests. Um, in terms of audio, we have the brand new HS80 wireless, RGB wireless, which I think it's off right now. Let me turn it on and see if we get some RGB. Is that RGB? It's just white at the moment, but they're supposed to be RGB. It says RGB in the name. We'll get to that later, but I've heard that this is a really comfortable headset and you know what? It's really comfortable, I can agree. And it probably has some awesome sound quality that Corsair is definitely known for. Um, am I missing anything important here? I think you hit it all. I think I hit everything. I'm surprised. Most of the time I mess this up somehow, but this all in all minus one key light right now on the budget. We only have one key light because um, again, you really don't need more than one key light is $2,500, which I think is pretty good for a full streaming setup, including a PC with an awesome graphics card and CPU. So what we're going to go ahead and do is do some live streaming, which is actually gonna be like a local recording test. I'm going to make sure to use the AMD hardware encoder. So we're actually using the GPU to live stream and uh, hopefully we'll get some awesome live streaming footage. So let's just just cut to that right now. All right, guys. So this is Apex Legends. We're just playing some some good old arenas mode, um, which does get to test out the uh, you know stress and everything just as much as the real game does because you still got a very large playing field. As far as settings go, let's see. Nice twenty by ten eighty. Looks like high settings. Very high. Very high. And we're recording slash streaming at the same time. Whoa! It wow. looks beautiful. Yeah, we're getting actually uh, 150 FPS. We're definitely not getting our, our 280 or whatever the heck this monitor is, but you know what? It's still extremely smooth and I really don't think you notice that much of a difference with any more refresh rate. Is my, I was like, is my teammate gonna do anything? What? Oh, he's in front of me? Oh my god. How am I? Oh, uh, uh, teammate, where are you at? <laughs> oh my, oh, there's another one? Okay, that makes a lot more sense. I got no scope, this. No scope, no scope, no scope. I got this. I got this. Easy, easy clap, easy clap. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, there you go. Uh, at, least, at least it didn't look like you dropped any frames. You recorded Apex, no problem. Yeah, there's that. Let's try another game. All right, gamers, we are in good old Call of Duty Cold War. And damn, look at that frame rate at 1080p, pretty much like high settings. And we're doing a live stream with local recording. Um, hopefully it looks as good in the recording as it does right now. Um, we'll be swapping between a, uh, oh God, we'll be swapping between our uh, camera recording externally and the gameplay stream. But I have a feeling it looks pretty good. I'm a really big fan of these Pixio monitors too. I think they're pretty nice. This 280 hertz one. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying, I'm just saying, I might be uh, using this one for a, a setup here at the office. Oh goodness. Oh God. All right. Well, let me let me go tunnel vision real quick and try to get some kills while I'm not sitting here just blabbing about stuff. Okay. All right. Now, you know what? This is what we gotta do. Get the gun that I really like to use. Is there anyone in this game? Like I haven't seen anybody. And hopefully the microphone sounds really good. Of course, the Elgato Wave 1 is just a cut down version of the Wave 3. It doesn't have all like the hardware buttons on the microphone, but it's still for the money, an awesome microphone with good software support. Um, the entire Elgato ecosystem is awesome. 
Um, highly suggested if you are somebody who wants to get into content creation, just makes things so easy, super plug and play. Um, and if you didn't want to use, let's say this webcam, you could also buy a capture card from Elgato and run uh, like a DSLR or anything. But honestly, like I'm really impressed with this webcam. Um, I've seen reviews of it and people were just kind of like, it's okay. Um, but really, I, I think it's better than most people are uh, hyping it up to be. It looks great, especially in the right lighting conditions. I, I just, I'm awful. Or are we just getting that destroyed? Oh, I finally got somebody. All right, here we go. All right, redeeming myself a little bit, guys. Redeeming myself. Ah! Uh, all right, whatever. That's <laughs> that's Call of Duty Cold War, and it's streamable. But am I going to be good at it? No, not really. Um, let's just let's switch to something else. I think Jackson's busy, so we're just gonna we're just gonna go ahead and dive into something else. Um, let's do. Um, I guess we're on Borderlands Three. Um, I'm actually, if I have a save, I might just dive into the actual game and run around instead of running the built-in benchmark, so you guys get some uh, r a real gaming experience. You know, make you all feel like you're real gamers. All right. Sorry, I was just scooting up so you actually can hear me a little bit better. All right, guys, we are now in Borderlands 3. Um, I am using display capture right now because for some reason, um, I, I really don't even know why uh, the game capture is not working, but it's working. Um, we are getting a little bit more of a stutter experience in this game. It is a little bit more demanding of a AAA title, and we are running on like high settings on PX12, but it looks like it's capturing fine. Um, we could always mess with the settings a little bit more. Um, to get a, a much smoother experience. But the stream isn't dropping any frames. The recording looks like it's going good. Um, but we'll just run around here real quick, level up, and go from there. But no, I was honestly expecting this game to be a little bit harder to do a recording of because it is more demanding. But if it can do Cold War, to be honest, it could definitely do this game. Um, but yeah, 1080p, I would definitely recommend to use if you're live streaming on like any sort of budget PC or really any PC in general, if you're having encoding issues, um, actually, uh, using a 1080p monitor is your best bet. I know it's not the best visual experience, but even if you have a high end PC, um, it's better that you actually run it 1080p, um, when you're live streaming. Um, it just gives you a better experience. I'm going to get killed. It's your favorite game, Borderlands 3. It looks so good on this. I know it does. Did it just look so bad before? I, I, maybe I was running low settings, I don't know. But yeah, this game runs perfectly fine. I would imagine you could stream pretty much any AAA title at 1080p on medium high settings. We are running on medium settings right now and getting like 200 FPS. Just crazy that you're doing a local stream and being able to do that. So um, yeah, this works out really well. Um, only other game, if I can get it to work, would be Fortnite. But you know what? We'll just see what happens. We like Fortnite. We like Fortnite. Now you might not be able to see it, but MSI Afterburner is just not wanting to capture in Fortnite for some reason, so sorry about that. Some of the stuttering you are seeing right now, you probably, when you're live streaming, it's better just to cap your frame rate at something instead of running like full unlimited. That'd probably make for a smoother experience. I also think once we drop in, that, that should set a lot. A lot of times when you're loading into the bus, you're loading up textures and stuff. Oh God. Go. Oh, I was holding E. Oopsies. Someone in here is like murking everyone. Oh. Okay. That guy? Probably. Oh, oh my god. God. He got you. Oh man. Why was I going against an absolute gamer god? Um, yeah. I mean, you guys can hear Jackson talking right now, obviously. You guys heard me screaming. Look at this guy teabagging. Yeah. So, Who else is he going to end? What other careers is he going to put to rest? This is our streaming setup test, and I think it did really well. I'm really impressed with that webcam and microphone. You know, just do some ASMR into there real quick. Whenever someone knows how to edit their builds and stuff, I just assume they're a gamer guy. Oh, oh. <laughs> Wait. Is that just... Is it a clone? I don't know what that is. He's like, I'm done with the sniper. Finally? Oh my god. This guy killed me. The this is the same guy that like did not miss a shotgun shot. Oh my God. Uh, okay, all right. Well, all right, that's you know it. what, that's it, that's it. All right, let's wrap this video up real quick. All right guys, so as you can see from the local recording slash streams we just did, this PC performed absolutely great. And honestly, that 6600 XT really surprised us with 
how well it did in games, but how smooth the actual playback was when watching the videos. So if you're looking to live stream, the 6600 XT might not be a bad option considering the hardware encoding in OBS is not too bad. And this whole setup for $2,500, I think is a great value. So special thanks again to Corsair for sponsoring this full streaming setup. All the links down below will be links to everything in this setup featuring the PC and all the other parts and also especially the Corsair parts, especially that Wave 1, which is the main reason why they're sponsoring. I bet that sound really good during that streaming test. Thanks again to them for sponsoring and be sure to use the links down below. There'll be affiliate links and they will help us out. So if you guys haven't already, don't forget to check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Bye -bye. Hey, in case you guys didn't know, if you want something just like this, PCBros.tech can totally do that for you. We have a lot of custom-built PCs that will sell directly to you, and we can also point you in the right direction for peripherals. And sometimes we have peripherals like this. I bet most of the stuff is going to go to a PC Bros. So go to PC Bros. Buy it right now. Goodbye.